Clayton Kershaw is entering his 11th season in Major League Baseball, and this is his 13th spring training overall. Clayton Kershaw is signed through the 2020 season, but can opt out after this year. Earlier today, Clayton spoke about absorbing that Game 7 loss of the World Series and moving toward 2018. Clayton, again, the, uh, this is nothing new to you, but the anticipation of getting things going again. Yeah, it's good once you get here. You know, it's uh, it's no fun leaving home, but once you get out here, you can see the guys and uh, get to hang out. It's uh, it's fun to get back to work and get to start playing baseball again. When we talked at FanFest, you had said that you were just kind of getting going as far as the bullpen sessions were concerned. So just uh, where are you at as far as, as your routine? Yeah, right, right where I should be. Normal, throwing a few bullpens now and... Uh, you know, throwing one tomorrow, I think, first day, and uh, everything feels good, so I'm good to go. When you look around this clubhouse, um, not many new faces, really the same core of guys uh, from last year. Your anticipation of being able to go to battle with this particular group again? Yeah, I mean, we we obviously have, uh, you know, a great team from last year coming back, and um, some of the guys that we brought in fill a very specific need, and um, which is great. We need that, and um, basically guys just have to continue doing what they're doing and stay healthy, and Easier said than done, but uh, you know we, we like uh, we like our team, and we know that we can be good. I know that uh, you had some conversations with Darvish in the offseason, a catch partner, if you will. You just your thought about uh, losing him out of your rotation and perhaps having to face him against Chicago. Yeah, I mean it's 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 disappointing. You know, I I enjoy throwing with you, and um, you know I uh, obviously think he's a very special talent. So um, you know makes it uh, you know I wish he had gone somewhere in the American League, but. Um, you know what? We'll uh, we'll just have to beat him, I guess. What's your anticipation now that he has signed? Perhaps maybe moving that needle of the free agent market since it has been so quiet. Yeah, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully it gets going now. How long did it take into the off season to kind of absorb the the way things ended, and disappointment? I don't know. I don't know really. Did you put it behind you pretty quick? Do you? I guess I don't really work like that. I, I don't. I don't. I don't really know. Uh, you know, it's it's not fun losing the game seven. So uh, you know, I don't know if you, you know, you, I don't I don't really like take something and move on. You know, I just think I just kind of absorb it. So just kind of absorbed it, and now I start the next year. Is that healthy? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll let you know if I explode at some point. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I think I think everybody handles it differently. You know, I think uh, you know, for me, I don't really take things in as it happens you know I think it takes me a little while to process stuff so maybe I'm still doing that I don't know yeah one of the new faces in here is a familiar one what uh, how surprised were you to see Matt Kemp walk through the door um well yeah no you obviously you know you see the trade that happens and you kind of understand that there's some financial motivations with the trade that happens and um you know not really sure what the you know you know what your team's going to look like because of that in spring training but you know, I texted Matt, you know, a few weeks ago or and just, you know, I, I've seen him at his best. You know, I, I know how good he can be. I know that he has, still has the ability to hit a baseball really well. And, uh, you know, I hope he gets that chance to prove it here. You see he's in shape. Can you just speak to the commitment of he just said that he knows he still has a lot left. And obviously he, he has a point to prove. Well, that's that's a great start. You know, having, uh, you know, obviously Matt, um, you know, has something to prove. And that's awesome. And, uh you know, he, he looks great right now. I think coming in from, you know, last year, this year, he looks awesome. And, um, you know, if he's healthy, you know, his offensive abilities are, you know, unquestioned as far as what I've seen. And, um, you know, if he can move around the outfield, catch some balls, you know, he could be a, you know, a big asset for us. You as a pitcher, as the ace of the staff, have an appreciation for position players that show up before they're supposed to? Uh, it seems like every year they, they all show up. So, um, you know, it's... Um, it's great, you know. I, I honestly, it doesn't doesn't really matter to me, but uh, you know, they're all going to be there on March 29th, and that's what counts. Being that it's day one of spring training, a lot of different questions have to be answered before they actually start the regular season. One thing is for certain, however, barring any sort of injury, Dave Roberts said Clayton Kershaw will be the opening day starter.